Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. It's great to have you here. Today I'm going to be building a forced air burner. But before we get started, I just want to remind you guys that this is not a guide or a how-to video. Uh, dealing with propane and electricity are both very dangerous, especially when you put them together. So I'm not going to be responsible if you guys hurt yourself by doing this. And I definitely recommend doing a lot more research and also talking to professionals like plumbers and electricians before you do this build. This is the main burner assembly. It's inch and a half pipe. These two pieces are 12 inches long, that piece is 4 inches long. I have two elbows, and this is an adapter that goes from inch and a half to 2 inch pipe. This is a blower I ordered, it's a Dayton blower. Um, I got it from Amazon. I have an, uh, an electrical switch right there to turn it on and off. Um, and this is just like a little rubber thing that I'm going to be using to attach the blower to the burner. I'm going to cut this off right here so I can fit this around the burner. And then also, this is where the propane is going to be entering the burner. I'm going to put it somewhere over here. And I also drilled a sixteenth of an inch orifice in this cap right here. And that's what the propane is going to come out of. So now I'm just going to cut this off with the angle grinder so I could fit that rubber adapter or whatever that thing is over the, uh, the blower so I could attach it to the burner. Next, I need to mark where I'm going to drill the hole for the propane inlet. Um, I'm probably just going to drill it a couple inches up from the bottom of the tube. So let me make a little mark right here. I think four inches should be good. So I'm just going to take my center punch, make a little mark, so I know where to drill. Shoot, almost spilled my water. So now we're going to take it to the drill press and get that hole drilled. I'm just using a regular drill. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take this to the grinder probably and make it a little, a little slimmer. Now that this is ground down, it fits inside the hole. And the next thing I need to do is just weld it. Now I need to drill a hole in this quarter inch plate with this three inch hole saw. I'll explain what this is for in just a little bit. This round piece of plate is going to function as the ribbon burner. It's going to get welded directly onto the end of the pipe. Unlike Venturi burners, forced air burners work much better with ribbon burners, which instead of having one big hole, they have multiple smaller holes that the flames come out of. So 
So I just finished drilling all the holes. I didn't film it because I figured you guys wouldn't really want to watch me drill all these. Um, but they're a quarter inch diameter and the next step is just to weld this to the end of the pipe. Alright guys, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing actually works. I'm a little bit nervous, but... So I just wanted to quickly explain to you guys why the burner is built the way it is. Now first down here we have the blower, and then right above the blower is the input for the propane with a ball valve. Then above that we have the first elbow. And some of you might be wondering why there are elbows in this design instead of just having a straight pipe, and that's because the elbows cause a lot of turbulence and that mixes up the fuel a lot better than if you just had a straight pipe. Most of the forced air burners that I've seen have at least one, and sometimes two like this one elbows in their design and that I think definitely increases the efficiency. There are some without any elbows um, and I'm sure they still work but I think the elbows definitely help out a lot more than if you didn't have them. Then right after the second elbow we have the shorter piece of pipe and then we have this adapter uh, that kind of acts as the flare that widens the end of the burner and then welded to that end as you saw earlier was the the ribbon burner which is the piece of plate that I had which was quarter inch plate with a bunch of quarter inch holes drilled in it. Alright guys so the burner's done it's installed in the forge I just forged this hammer with it just to test it out and it really it works way better than I thought it would I mean to forge yesterday's hammer I had to run this burner at like 20 psi this thing is running at 2 maybe 3 psi and it's way hotter I don't understand why it's so much better. I mean, I know it's way more efficient and pretty much all of the fuel is being burned right at the tip of the burner. Um, unlike these, which are kind of inefficient and a lot of the fuel is being burned outside of the forge. That's why there's normally such a big flame shooting outside of the forge when you use one of these. Um, but still, it's, it's crazy. I couldn't be happier with it. And you guys definitely should build one of these. But please, if you do decide to build one of these, um, definitely watch more videos than mine. Do a lot of research and please be careful because this stuff's really dangerous. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I post new videos just like this every single week. I'll see you guys in the next one.